for being here today. For the past few weeks, we have been listening closely to a big speech Jesus once gave to a crowd of people gathered on a mountainside. Today, we call that speech the Sermon on the Mount, and we call this part the Beatitudes or the Blessings. Today, we are on the fourth blessing, but I wonder if you remember the first three. I'll start and you finish when I pause, okay? The first one was, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Good job. The second is, blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted or made glad. Great. Now, last week's, do you remember that one? Last week was blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Did you remember some of those? It's okay if you didn't. One of the reasons we have the Bible is so we can read them for ourselves. Let's listen to the fourth blessing. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Remember, we can also use the word happy in place of blessed with each blessing. I wonder if you have ever heard the word righteousness before. Righteousness is another way to say that justice is being done. But wait, what is justice? Do you know? A lot of people think of justice as someone getting a punishment for doing something wrong. But justice is a lot more than that. When we see the words righteousness and justice in our Bibles, we are talking about making sure that the world is the way God wants it to be. When we want to know how God wants us to be living together and caring for the earth, we can pay special attention to any time Jesus talks about the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of God. Just like today, the people in that crowd listening to Jesus saw a lot of unfair or unjust things happening around them and to them. Jesus described the kingdom of heaven as a world where no one would have to suffer because their basic needs are not being met. Can you think of what basic needs might be? food and shelter. Jesus also said the kingdom of heaven was a world where everyone had dignity. Have you ever woken up in the morning and been really, really, really hungry? Have you ever been running around and playing really hard in the summer heat and gotten really, really thirsty? Imagine in your mind that righteousness has turned into a big plate or bowl full of your favorite food and you are really hungry. Wow, hmm, I'm imagining spaghetti. Oh my goodness, it looks great. Nom, 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 nom. And imagine that justice has just been poured into a big glass of what nice cold water and you are really thirsty. Mm. That hits the spot. Jesus told the crowd, and he tells us that we are blessed when we are so hungry and thirsty for the world to be the way God wants it to be. And Jesus promises that when you work hard to make the world more like the kingdom of heaven, you will be all filled up. You'll be satisfied because the world will be more just and there will be more righteousness because of your efforts. 
Next week, we will hear the fifth blessing. And guess what? It has a lot to do with this week's blessing. Before we go, I want to offer you this blessing. May God bless you as you live for justice in your home and in your community. I'll see you next week. Bye. Join us for worship Sundays at 10 a.m. Learn more at our website, presby.net.